Hi everyone and welcome back to Craft Time. Today we're going to be making a fall tree with paint. So get out all your paint and your craft supplies and your template and let's get started. Let's look and see what we need for today's craft. So I have a piece of cardboard. You could also use a piece of cardstock or a cereal box or a file folder. It's just to make our page stronger so that when we're painting on it, it's not as flimsy. Also, I have some paint. So I have some brown, some orange paint, green, and yellow. I have a little piece of scouring pad that's new. And most importantly, I have some tin foil. We're gonna be using that to paint on our leaves. So let's get started by simply taking our glue and a piece of paper. And I wanna see, do I want to put it like that? Yes, you know what? I want to have two pieces. So what I'm going to do is completely cover, completely cover this whole piece of cardboard. So let's start by just taking our glue and putting it all over. I'm going to go down the sides. So, and when there's enough and everything's covered, I'm going to take my first piece, put it right in the middle like this, and squish it down. Don't worry about the stuff on the side yet. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna take my other piece and put it right like that. I'm gonna try my best to align these lines right here. And I'm gonna squish it down too. I'm gonna go back in and put a little bit of glue where I didn't have any. Squish that down, turn it over, and put a little bit of glue right here. And you guessed it. Now we're just gonna take our paper and we're going to flip it like so. And now it's glued there. Do the same on the other side. Take a little bit of glue, just like that. Take your paper squish it down, take the other side, do the same, and flip it, and there you have it. Perfect, now we're ready to start. I want my tree to be tall, so I'm just gonna flip it in this direction. Now the first thing I wanna do is prepare my paint. So if you have a tray, get your tray now, and let's just open up the paint we have. So we have brown, and orange. I have some Q-tips that I'm going to be using. If you have scissors, very gently cut open what you're going to be using. With my yellow, I've got it in a little baggie. So I'm just going to open it up like so. Okay, that might flip, no worries. And then my green. So let's open up our bag. If it's in a Ziploc like mine, you can just Perfect. Now what I want to do before I get started with my paint is take my pencil or something like a marker. I like pencil just in case I make a mistake. I want to create a tree. This doesn't have to be exact. I just kind of want the shape. How does the shape of a tree look? Kind of like this. Okay, all the way down. This area is where my branches are going to be. So go ahead, kind of experiment with what that feels like. How thick are your branches gonna be? Which direction are they gonna be? Remember the little offshoots of branches? Make that happen. Take your time. What feels good to you? Let's do that now. Maybe I'll have one that comes down like this. Okay, and this is just to give me an idea of where I want to paint. Okay, perfect, that feels good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Q-tip. You can also use a brush too, but I like using my Q-tips. And I'm just gonna go in, put a little bit of glue, or I'm sorry, a little bit of paint. Don't use glue, oh my goodness. And start painting. Now you know me, I like to go around the outsides first to see what I'm going to be making. So I'm gonna go back over my branches, this 
just like that. Nothing fancy. Just highlighting in there I've already made. Now some of you may not even have done the pencil part. That's okay. But I like to see where everything is before I lay down my paint. It just helps me sort of with my imagination and changing things up. Let's go ahead and continue until we've done all of our branches. And this is fun too because as you're going in you might decide that you want to add more branches but now you already have a template that you started with you can change up as you go. There we go. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to really fill in the part of the tree that is the trunk. And I'm just going to go in any which direction. I just want to change it up a little bit, give it a little bit of texture. Maybe sideways like this. Coming down. Again, just play with it. Whatever feels good. And that feels good to me. I'm going to bring it down a smidgen. And I'm going to leave some parts darker than others, just like I would see on a tree. There we go, everyone. All right, that feels good to me. So I'm going to put this one aside because I might want to come back to it. And now I'm going to take my tin foil. So I'm going to unwrap the tin foil that I have. And I have quite a big piece. So instead of using the entire piece, I'm going to rip my piece in half. And then I think I'm going to rip it in half one more time. Okay, now I'm going to take it in my hand like a ball and I'm going to squish it like that. Does it have to be flat? No, I don't want it to be flat. I kind of want some, some depth to it, something that I could play with. And when you've got this, let's bring on over our paint. And let's start thinking about what a fall tree looks like. So this is where I'm going to take my tray and I'm going to use my tray to play with my paint so that I don't put too much down. And I'm just going to up and down, up and down. And do you see, if I press harder, it leaves a bigger blob of paint. But if I press lighter, it kind of gives a lighter little leaf imprint. And that's what I want to create. I want to create my leaves on my tree. And when we think of the colors of fall, we think of orange and reds and some greens for the leaves that have not turned color and browns and yellows and sometimes shades of purples. So that looks really great. I want to go in and do this with my other colors too. So let's do it again. Let's take this, a new one, and let's try the yellow now. Let's go on over and experiment. Where will we put this? How hard will we press? Play with how light you're pressing and how strongly you're pressing and see what you can create. And let's go through all the colors that we have. Perfect. I love the way that looks. The last thing I want to do is I want to take this little piece of uh, scrub sponge that I found and I want to mix it up a little bit. So I want to take it and make some grass. Just use it to create a little bit of different texture to the grass. a little bit of brown down here too because the leaves are falling. See, it comes up the tree a little bit. 
think of sort of padding really quickly up and down, up and down. Then you could add some more using your sponge on the tree, but I really like the way that that looks. We could add just a smidgen of a different color perhaps, sort of falling on the ground. Maybe there's some leaves that have come down off of the tree and they're just sitting at the base waiting for the wind or the squirrels to sweep them away. That looks really lovely. And there you go. We just created the most wonderful fall tree just using paint, paper, tin foil, and sponge. I hope you had fun today. I know I did. I can't wait to see your photos. I'll see you next time.